We begin tonight with the monster storm intensifying right off the East Coast, and it's going to hit overnight and right into the morning. Take a look at the track of this thing. Florida first, a state of emergency just declared in Georgia. The Carolinas on alert, schools closed in some places already, and then all the way up the coast of Maine. Add this to the deadly cold already. 30 states under alert at this hour. Blizzard conditions in Buffalo causing a massive and deadly crash on the thruway today. Firefighters battling the flames at a burning apartment building in the Bronx, hampered by the freezing cold. Ginger Z has the new track of this storm system on the coast, but first, Gio Benitez with the deadly pileup. The image is coming in right now. Tonight, relentless blizzard conditions pummeling western New York. A stretch of Interstate 90 near Buffalo shut down after this massive chain reaction crash. Miles of traffic miles. More than 20 vehicles directly involved, at least one killed and another person seriously injured. Visibility down to near zero. You couldn't see a gosh darn thing in front of you. Everything was blurry. There was a complete whiteout. With half of the country in a deep freeze, many schools delaying classes today or canceling them altogether. Most of our children walked to school. The majority of them walked to school and a lot of them are not prepared for this type of weather. That prolonged cold has water mains bursting from Massachusetts to Missouri, coating cars in ice. In Baltimore, streets turning into ice rinks. The cold dipping so far south, roads dangerously slick, even in Houston. In the Dallas-Fort Worth area Sunday, that scare for a police officer slipping on the ice, a sliding car narrowly missing the officer. In Chicago, crews lighting fires to keep rail switches from freezing. In Indianapolis, officials releasing 911 calls from a desperate rescue. It's just a pond behind my house. The car is falling through. A dive team pulling a woman from her car submerged 12 Bring feet in an icy her. pond New Year's Eve. The driver in critical condition. In Maryland, three others rescued from this car overnight. In New York City, more than 400 firefighters battling a seven alarm apartment fire and 13 degree temperatures in the Bronx. Residents racing to get out. By the time we go open the door in the in the hallway, the whole hallway was black smoke. More than 20 injured. The firefight leaving behind a thick coating of ice. And Gio Benitez with us live at the scene of that fire tonight. And Gio, this frigid cold stretching all the way from the north where we are here in New York, all the way down to Texas tonight. That's right, David. We just learned that in Houston, two people died because of this cold weather. And here in New York at that Bronx apartment building, we know the people who lived here are now homeless. David. Gio Benitez leading us off. Gio, thank you. So let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Ginger Z tonight, of course, tracking this major storm right off the coast. And the track of this thing you were telling us, Ginger, will mean everything here. Every mile counts with this one, David, as to how much snow is going to fall and how windy it's going to get. So travel will be impacted along the East Coast. Let me take you to the maps because that winter storm warning, you don't see this often, from Perry, Florida to Nags Head, North Carolina, means that you could see up to a tenth of an inch of ice there, up to three inches of snow, and it all gets going overnight tonight through tomorrow morning. That drive time, 7 a.m. in southeast Georgia, North Florida, going to be a mess. Then tomorrow afternoon from Charleston up through eastern North Carolina. Some heavier snow totals along that pink line. That's the freezing line there. And then it'll kind of clip through mid-Atlantic. New York through eastern Long Island is where we pick up some of the heavier totals again into Boston and eventually Maine. You can see the heavy snow totals. I think gusts up to 70 miles per hour. Most of it for the Northeast is Thursday. And if you can believe it or not, David, even colder air than we've seen all season coming behind this thing. Right behind this, but we have to get through this first. You'll be here every step of the way, Ginger. Thank you.